The day my labor started, I was 41 weeks and four days pregnant. If I had listened to my doctor, I would not have made it this long. She wanted to perform a scheduled C-section on me at 41 weeks. Her reasoning behind this was my previous C-section, the one that was caused by a failed induction and the one that made my first birthing experience traumatizing. My biggest dream was to experience a natural vaginal birth. I felt in my core my body just needed some more time. But in all honesty, every day that went by, I got more nervous and I was losing hope. I was able to push back the C-section to 42 weeks, but that day was getting closer. In the next clips, you will see me in another hospital. I do not promote changing this last minute, but the midwife that was working that night is a very good friend of mine and she knows my whole background. I went to this hospital, another hospital, for a second opinion. We both weren't very optimistic going into the vaginal exam. But she checked me and was surprised how ready my cervix felt. Baby was low in my pelvis, I was 50% effaced and had a 1 cm dilation. While a few days before this, I had a negative check with my own doctor. I asked my friend and midwife to strip me. So she did. Lazifrina, thank you. I'm very happy because I had one centimeter dilation and it was not as bad as she thought and I thought. So I have more positive thoughts now, but I will see you in my actual next vlog. Well, that's all you need to know for now. Enjoy watching my labor and delivery vlog. Welcome in my labor and delivery vlog. I cannot believe this actually is happening because I had no idea this would still happen naturally. I thought C-section was just what the only thing for me or something. So I'm very, very excited. Um, so a couple of hours ago, I was here for um, um, cervical stripping. Um, um, in a different hospital than my normal hospital. Okay, <laughs> so what I was saying, um, this is a different hospital than my normal hospital. Look at this room, it is so pretty. I also took two spoons of uh, resinous oil before bed. Um, and this is what was also the first time someone could cervically strip me. Um, so yeah, I'm now in labor. I guess, I think, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, contractions are painful, doable, um, because they do not last very long. Monitor now and then I'm gonna walk around and move a little more.
Sky. He's getting ready to pop out.
Hemen de derdim. Öyle ilk ilk yemek bir borçla vardı. Ufuntu alıp bir sıra sonra alıp da kazanıp diye bir kuvvet. Two hours later here, I got checked again and I was three centimeters dilated, fully effaced and my water had broken out of itself. This made me so super happy and hopeful again. I really could conquer the world at this point, not having any pain. And I was trying multiple positions to keep baby happy and to keep moving a little. Guys, if I do all this live, <laughs> this time I'm not sick from it. So that's positive. Um, I have six centimeters dilation and um, fully effaced. But now baby's heartbeat is dipping a bit. It's not very concerning yet, but they're gonna ask a second opinion. So I hope everything is fine so we can go um, deliver naturally. We are in for, in for um, 10 hours now since I started getting pain. Yeah, 10 hours, yeah.
grateful that everything went smoothly I was able to deliver vaginally which was my big dream so I'm super grateful and happy the recovery so far is already way better I can sit up I can eat um, so much better than c-section even though I have lost a lot of blood like more than one liter so yesterday um, I went to try to go pee um, which I couldn't because everything is so swollen down there <laughs> that I could not get the pee out um, but then I uh, fainted um, so I had to lay on the ground <laughs> for a little but um, I'm fine like I have gotten my first bag of extra blood yesterday and I might get one or two more today um, but the first night was very good sky is very <laughs> sweet so far doesn't cry a lot at all it just cried once i think and he already slept for many hours so we also slept a lot um and now i'm gonna eat breakfast but i'm very happy and um yeah thank you for watching 
this labor and delivery vlog and I see you next time.